what is up guys and welcome back so as in the previous video we installed this wordpress in it and now basically we want to create so many websites like uh, more than 10 websites or just like that so we cannot buy so many domain names instead we can create subdomain names for free and then we can create so many websites okay so what i want to do is that i will create subdomain names like s1 for site 1 s2 for site 2 so it will be like s1.completewpcourse.com okay and then we will move on with this so let's go ahead and let's go to the dashboard or sorry the c panel okay and what you have to do you have to go down and here it says subdomains so you have to come here and we basically want to create a subdomain name so i want to create a subdomain name for s one okay and this domain name will be for complete wbcourse.com so my document root is going to be um sub underscore d o m a i n s slash ten s one dot ten i s one dot complete wbcourse.com complete wp course.com s1.completewpcourse.com okay so once i create it this will be created and then we're going to install wordpress in it so let's go ahead and let's hit create and you can see that s1.completewpcourse has been created now very fast we have to install wordpress in it how we will do that we have to go to um file manager okay and then we have to just go to subdomains right here and we have to we have this s1.completewpcourse.com we have to basically upload that um where is the upload we have to basically upload that wordpress file we have to select it we have to just upload this wordpress.zip we have to open it up and you can see that this is being uploaded so after it is uploaded um what we have to do we have to go back and then we have to extract it Here it is extracted. Now what I have to do, I have to refresh this and I have to remove this. I have to just hit delete and this should be delete. So what you have to do, you have to now hit check this and then you have to hit okay, confirm. So now we have to basically log on to s1.completewbcourse.com. Let's visit this and there we go. You can see that it is showing 404 not found right now okay but what you have to do you have to wait for like um five minutes or more than five minutes and then when you will visit this page this will be done okay so you have to wait for like some time because um host gator is a bit slow in this subdomain name okay so when they're done they will just get that and our site will be up and running so after five minutes or four minutes i'll just be back and then i'll show you how to install wordpress in it but basically you guys already know how to install wordpress in it we have to just go to the mysql database okay and we have to install wordpress in the same database okay we have to install wordpress in the same database that is cwp course okay the username is going to be this but we will be using a different um that extension okay so make sure that you install wordpress with this method do not install wordpress with auto, auto method because you will see a lot of database and it will be having a lot of things so do not install wordpress that that way just install wordpress with this method okay so after like um five minutes i'll just be back i'm just pausing my video right now so that everything looks good so i'm just pausing my video right now and i'll be back when it is done what is up guys and you can see that i have now this website is totally up and running and once and when i visited this you can see that this is the window that is coming right here i want to just hit next continue to go to the next setup and i want to go to hit let's go and i want to enter my wordpress database name so my wordpress database name is going to be um this one i want to come here and i want to paste it right now okay so my username is going to be the this one i want to copy this right now Okay, let's hit copy. Let's come here and let's hit paste. There we go. And now I want to enter the password. So now I have to enter the database host. So leave this as it is. Make sure that it is the WP host. And then we're going to name it as WPS1. 
one okay so this is basically make sure that this is unique every time you install WordPress in a database in a same database so you can see that we are installing WordPress in the same database so make sure that this is unique don't use a WP underscore main just make sure that you use the WP underscore unique and now you have to hit submit and let's wait you can see that it says all right sparkly you have made it through the part of installation now i have to just hit run the install and it's going to take me to the new window and now here i have to enter the site title so my site title is going to be site one or anything so you can pretty well uh, change it later on so i'm going to be just entering the site one okay and i want to go to the username so my username is going to be this and i want to change my password so my password is going to be and I want to enter the you the email address so email address is this and I want to hit install WordPress now and you can see that WordPress has been installed in s1.completewpcourse.com and now we're totally done so in this video we're gonna be uh, just uh, deciding that which website to create in this because we have a lot of website to create and you guys are gonna learn how to create different type of websites so make sure that you try each and every website um, simultaneously that how we are website that you make sure that you watch the watch a video and this video you're watching right now then make sure to try that later on okay so so in the next video we'll be working up with our website we'll we'll be just working up with the team we'll install a team and then we'll create a new website so stay tuned guys and bye bye